Hey, 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 and today I'm going to be comparing Floor 15 and Ubuntu 11.04, Lovelock versus Natty Noir. The categories I'm going to be using for these are aesthetics or looks, compatibility, user friendliness or ease of use, bugs, graphics and sound, startup, software, speed, my overall rating out of 10 and reasons for this. My choice and personal opinions, reasons, etc. Which of the two would I most look forward to seeing further releases from and why? What am I really happy with? What am I really disappointed in? What would I like to see improved in both distributions in the next three releases? Please bear in mind that a live disc, DVD in this case, has been used for both to ensure fairness and equal chance. I'll just proceed to the first review, which will be Ubuntu 11.04. I'll just build it up from the live CD now. Hey, and I've just decided, seeing as Unity doesn't work on the live disc for Ubuntu, that I'm going to do the first part, or at least maybe the whole of it, in the actual install version of Ubuntu that I have. And then for Fedora, I'll do it off a live disc, and then I'll tell you the stats or whatever, and how fast it should be going, what it's usually like, when it's installed. If you know what I mean. Right, so first things first, just minimise my recorder. Um, aesthetics, look. Well, we've got Unity interface. Type in, say, terminal. It's nice. That is very aesthetically pleasing. You can scroll down there. Shifts nicely. File manager. Just open that. X minus square so for close minimize and maximize always on the left hand side as usual uh, next thing in aesthetics the built in themes so if we just go to change this dot background wait for it to load up a sec theme ambience is the default in Ubuntu I prefer ambience but you've also got clear looks I don't really like clear looks dust Dust can make Unity look very nice. Dust sand, not a fan. High contrast, definitely not a fan. High contrast, large print, inverse, not a fan. New wave, it's alright. Radiance, it's decent. Personal favourite is either dust or ambience. Probably ambience. Anyway, backgrounds. This dot backgrounds you got. This is the Natty wallpaper. Another take on the Natty wallpaper. You just get a few that come with it. And of course, the signature Ubuntu wallpaper. Fonts, you just see what the application font, all that, you can change that so it's looking nice. Also we've got GNOME, which I'll just show you in a second, I'll pause this, go across to GNOME, thank you. Hey, I'm back with the GNOME interface, GNOME 2, they opted for, in Ubuntu. Uh, you've got your standard, accessories, as usual, places, system, preferences, administration, Anything that you tab up here, connections, sound preferences, chat, mail, time, date, your chat accounts, all your settings and shut off, switch, system settings, etc. Get control center when you open that up. It's nice because it gives you all your preferences all in one. Um, yes, yeah, so that's aesthetics basically. You get all the same backgrounds, etc. themes that you get in Unity. And the default is the same. You get the four switches down there. Instead of the little the whole four panel, it's divided into four for Unity. So you still get all the same here. All the fonts, themes. You can add new themes as usual. Now we're going to talk about compatibility. I might as well just stay on GNOME here because it's the same for Unity and GNOME. 
apart from the fact that you need 3D drivers to get onto GNOME, and so you need to have newer hardware for that. Sorry, not get onto GNOME, you need to have 3D drivers to get onto Unity, uh, and so you're going to need to have newer cards for that. So it's going to require new hardware. But you can always go to GNOME 2 if you so wish. Anyway, um, compatibility. On Fedora, well, when they when you plug them in with an Ethernet cable, it works fine on both of them. But on Fedora, with wireless, they support less wireless cards than Ubuntu do. And it's much easier to set up a wireless network on Ubuntu than it is on Fedora. Um, yeah, Flash is supported about the same for both. Graphics and sound cards, about the same for both. You can enable proprietary drivers in both. Um, backwards compatibility of older versions. It's not really valid in operating systems, but the one thing we do have is if we just open the Ubuntu software center online, it's taken a long time to load. And I need to rush through this because I've got a 10 minute limit. When we go on to a, let's just say, Arthur, we can see reviews for it. Sometimes, if someone does it in 10.10, .10, we can see this review is for a different version of Ubuntu, etc. It's not really backwards compatibility, but, you know, it's something. Um, webcams on my laptop. Webcam works perfectly. I uh, know they support a lot, a lot of webcams. A lot of people write them for Ubuntu and drivers. Uh, support for a newer hardware, bang up to date. Ubuntu and Debian are the best for newer hardware, I reckon. Older hardware, it's good, but it's not as good as Puppy Linux or something like that that specialise in old computers and hardware. But yeah, it's still decent. Just your average computer, that's all supported as well. User friendliness or ease of use, you just saw Unity, very user friendly, especially for a Windows user who's coming over. I think it's user friendly on GNOME as well. You can, after a couple of days, a Windows user or a Mac user will be able to understand exactly what they're doing. You don't need an antivirus really, but you can get antiviruses like Avast, AVG, ClamTK, etc, etc. You can see all your categories down here. You got your office, etc. So I think it's very user friendly. You don't need to have a lot of computer knowledge to use either of them. If you need to use bash code, you can always look it up on the internet, on the internet, and so that's all right there. Bugs. Well, with Ubuntu, I'm quite disappointed with bugs. In Unity, Compiz is buggy. In GNOME 2 and 11.04, Compiz is buggy. When you're playing full screen games, it comes up with an error, or at least on my system, and I've looked into it, and there's many more, saying uh, that I need to adjust my monitor settings to a different refresh rate and a different uh, configuration settings. So I, it's a 1600 by 900 on mine resolution. But I've done all that, and it still doesn't work. And it says that on startup as well in uh, Grub, which is not fixable as far as I know, it may be. Tell me in the comments uh, section if you know. So it's quite buggy. Graphics and sound. Graphics is really good. On some games I play, I can get 105 uh, frames per second using the stock NVIDIA drivers. Sound is pretty good. There is a slight problem with it. The after a couple of recordings, the um, sound preferences just freezes up completely. And yeah, basically, sometimes it freezes up. That's about it for sound. Software, there's a lot of software available since Ubuntu is the number one distribution of Linux. I, a lot of people use it. The software is mostly of good quality, especially that that's inside the Ubuntu Software Center natively. The Ubuntu Software Center is really good because, let me just go on something, let's say Deja Dupe, 